So, Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we've got the Strength card, and it's with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Strength card, when you get this one, it's actually important to make time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you've got 19 kids. So don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Because the outward things will be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So try to conquer any fears. Control your impulses and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Now, it's with the Eight of Wands. It's showing a lot of things could be up in the air. You could feel frustrated, tired of waiting, but this card is an indicator to be patient a while longer. Maybe you've done all that you can do now. Decisions have to be made by other people. When this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but don't try to force things, because if you do, it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in a risk. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So... The message that I'm getting, Sagittarius, recent past energy between you and your person, strength card, clarified by this Eight of Wands. So, for a lot of you, there was a lot of communication. I need to talk to you. They want to talk to you. You want to talk to them. A lot of communication, back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes it took a while to get an answer. But the communication was coming. And you knew you couldn't force it. You had to let it take its natural course of action. But it was back and forth. There was back and forth communication. And it, it, for some of you, it actually helped the connection. Because the strength card is about um, becoming stronger, mutually supportive and beneficial um, connections. Or relationships that become that way so that's what I'm getting it felt like it helped it actually helped the relationship the talk and the communication you felt like it worked the connection it seemed to get stronger maybe the two of you got closer and it felt it started to feel like it was a mutually supportive connection but let's move on over let's take a look and see What's coming up for the two of you? Okay, so we got this Moon card, and it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, with the Moon card, you could feel psychic or start to feel intuitive more than usual. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears... It's possible that all is not what it seems, and if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut instincts, and if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it could take, it could take longer than you would like for it to, so you're going to have to try to stay patient. Now, it's with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is actually one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean your financial worries are over for a while and that things will be going better than you thought ever possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth, share your happiness with others. So, the, yeah, the energy I'm getting, Sagittarius, coming up for you and your person. Moon and it's clarified by this Nine of Pentacles. So I'm getting that, yeah, like I said, the communication, it, it worked. It feels like the connection had become stronger. 
and things coming up so it's show, with the nine of pentacles here it's showing that the connection could go to the next level or um it can even it can become better even better than it was nine of pentacles is is actually like i said one of the most uplifting encouraging cards in the deck any worries that you had it's over for a while so the connection is still it's still going good but the moon card is here and it's it's giving me the impression that you're gonna have thoughts in the back of your head that your person isn't being honest about something or just overall you could feel like they're holding back or you could feel like something is hidden from you you could feel like there's deception or maybe you might start to feel like they're not saying how they really feel so things might for some of you things might get become heated or uncomfortable yeah because your mind might start to play tricks on you because like i said the moon card you could start to feel psychic and intuitive so you you, you might start to have in, in the back of your mind thoughts that you cannot trust this person but things are going good it, it looks like it has the potential to go good if it's not with this nine of pentacles here but for some of you your mind is gonna make you wonder are there secrets are they lying but let's move on over let's take a look and see what the challenge is well we got this will of fortune and it's with the eight of cups now the will of fortune is a card that reminds us that this too shall pass whether it's good times whether it's bad times it passes so if all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world keep your perspective as that too like everything else changes so live in the now count your blessings and just realize that much of life is actually outside of our control but that's even okay roll with the changes and think positive now, so the Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups can mean, it can often mean that you, you're going to choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, could be a job or a neighborhood, or maybe a situation. Just know that there's some sadness involved. But the separation is in your best interest. You have to know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, <laughs> job, or living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it can usually mean that you're the one who will make the choice. Just know that very often one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. <laughs> Will of Fortune clarified by this Eight of Cups for the challenge. Yeah, Sagittarius, like I said, your mind is going to start to wander with the moon card here. You might start having some trust issues, even though it seems like things are going good for a while. <coughs> And the communication helps, but the challenge is showing that you might start to feel like you might feel like walking away or just abandoning the connection because the the um, eight of cups can be about withdrawal, retreat, moving on, walking away, leaving it behind, and the will of fortune is saying that you're thinking that. You, you would do better somewhere else. You'd have better luck elsewhere. Yeah. For some of you, you know someone that you feel like you would have better luck with. Because the Wheel of Fortune is about having fortune in your favor. Feeling lucky. 
And like I said, for most of you, you're thinking it's time to walk away. Too much is hidden from you. And some of you feel like your person is telling a lot of lies. So you don't know what to think. And you just think that it's time to move on. You're just, you're going to have better luck elsewhere. Yeah, so let's see what the outcome is. We have the King of Cups. And it's with the devil. Yeah, the King of Cups. It speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate an actual man or a person in your life. Usually, it can refer to a very kind and loving type of individual. They could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's all about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. When you get the King of Cups. So nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. Now it's with the devil card. Now with this one, no matter what your situation is, you have to remember that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. So it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. So you might have a feeling that you're not in control of your life. And sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they're important too. So your outcome, King of Cups, clarified by the devil. So, Sagittarius. I'm just looking at the picture of this devil card. Very interesting. There's a devil in the middle. And then on both sides, there's a lady turning up the bottle. And then on the other side, there's a man just eating, overeating, put it that way, and he's got a huge belly. So Sagittarius, are you realizing, are you going to be realizing, or are you thinking that it's time to walk away because the both of you have brought some toxic behaviors into the connection, and it's caused a problem for the both of you? I can't take my eyes off of these two people that's on the devil card. It's the card below the word outcome. Yeah. And so I'm getting for a lot of you, you're realizing that there's love here, but it's the connection is kind of, it's kind of, it's, what kind of word do I want to use? It's tainted. The connection is tainted because the, both of you brought, brought a lot of toxic behaviors into the mix, into the connection. The both of you, I'm not going to say they did it, or you brought devil energy or toxic behaviors. I'm picking up the both of you did. Yeah, and it, it's caused a problem for the connection. So you, you could be thinking about walking away. You feel like you could have better luck elsewhere. There's too much. You feel like there could be too much deception. Or maybe just too much devil energy going on in the connection. Or just too much. Too much toxic behaviors um, from both ends that has caused the problem. 
Now, just a little side note. The devil card can be about addictions. Addictions could be greed, envy, materialism, jealousy, obsession, sexual lust, drug abuse, alcohol abuse. Yeah, so for a lot of you, that's what could be going on. And like I said, I, I'm getting a strong feeling that it's coming from both ends. Yeah. But you, you got love for this person with the King of Cups here. Whenever you see the King or the Queen of Cups in your reading, just know that that's a lot of love. King and Queen, Queen of Cups. Two of the most loving energies in the deck. But you feel like walking away. And you want to leave it behind. Too much negativity or devil energy is in the mix. In the connection. Yeah, you feel, you're starting to feel like you're going to have better luck elsewhere. With that Will of Fortune here. Yeah, so it was going good for a while, but it looks like, mm, like I said, some of you are going to choose to abandon the connection. So that is the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below at the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the rows... The roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a family member, a friend, a situation. Or it could be a co-worker. Yeah, so just take the readings for however it resonates because like I said, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.